Hello, yes, welcome to this unplanned video. Um, yes, my fan is going. We're ignoring it. It's hot as fuck. That's why my hair looks like this. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, whatever, but I want to film this now. Um, it's my first ever book haul, I guess, technically. Uh, so, um, I just got back yesterday from visiting my best friend, Kayla. Uh, and every time I visit her, I always come back with a bunch of books. Yeah, sometimes it's only like five. Other times, it's like 18, like it was last time I'm pretty sure because we have photos uh, and she counted. This time, it was 25. So I figured I might as well film a book haul. My hair really does look like a mess, oh boy. Um, they're not in any particular order. Uh, there are two that would not fit in my duffel bag that I am opening right now. Because that's where most of them are. It's like this whole thing oh my god so heavy oh my god most of them are paperbacks there's a lot of mass market um there are three locations i thank you vehicle for going up my road um there were three locations that i got them from uh there was the eloquent page my favorite used bookstore ever uh is where i got a two ones i knew of one of them full price and that was the only full price one i got one was a used that was half off uh, and then the rest of the ones that I got there, they were having a blind date with a book type thing. Uh, and they had them labeled on different genres. And so Bestie got me four out of five of them. Um, well, I say got me. She picked out four for me to grab um, or buy. Uh, that was Love, Karma, Mystery, and what was the last one? Oh, General Fiction. Uh, she didn't pick out History. Uh, so there's the Karma ones are interesting. Um, so those are the ones from there. There are the, there's one that is from her one library that, you know, in the front of libraries, sometimes they'll have like a little shelf thing or a cart that has like free books and whatnot. There was one book that I got from there. And then the rest are from the other library in the basement. Uh, I think every week actually they have this thing where they have book sales and you can get like a bag full for like three to five dollars, depending on the size of the bag. Um, she got two books one of them was an atlas but she got two books the rest were mine <laughs> and we got a large bag so you know um there's a lot uh we're gonna start with the ones that were not able to fit in the tote um duffel bag and those two both of these are from that library sale um in the basement one of them is an alice hoffman literally the day I got this, the day we went there, um, this one is The Marriage of Opposites. I think it's like her first, no, maybe it's not her first, I don't know. Um, that day I finished the new Alice Hoffman because I had it from NetGalley. I'm honestly surprised I got it from NetGalley. Um, which means I've read two Alice Hoffmans, uh, even if that one wasn't my favorite. The other one that I've read is absolutely one of my favorite books of all time, right? Uh, so I'm always like, I should read another Alice Hoffman. I really love her writing. And so, like... Obviously, I bought one because, like, it was pretty cheap, you know? Um, yes, the desk shock is, like, completely falling apart. Like, I will probably remove it. Uh, let's be real. Honestly, yeah, maybe I will. Because, like, look at this thing. This thing's, like, falling apart. It's all bent and whatnot. And the corners are falling apart. Uh, but the normal just plain desk jack is fine. And then there's pretty this. Um, do I even know what this one's about? I assume it follows a uh, normal Alice uh, Hoffman books I've read where it's about uh, family and um, the relations between people and stuff like that. Uh, and just generally well read. Uh, so, you know, that's one of them. Yes, I'm completely taking off the dust jacket. It's like, it's bad. Uh, the other one I got, I just realized it was, it's um, Deco Pages, or is that what they're even called? I don't know. I don't mind that. Uh, is The Summer Wives. This was like, right in the front of like brand new books they just got and so i was like i'll leave it there because like i knew it was a book that i always was intrigued by so i was like i'll leave it there and then i'll like go through the whole entire place and pick them out a bunch um i think we were there for like a whole hour most of that was just me um and i was like if it's still there when i get back to the front to like check out i will grab it and it was so i figured why not like it's right up front um uh, I believe this one is post-World War II. 
Like generally I do not like books that have to do with World War II. Generally just don't. Um but like it follows a girl whose father uh died in the war I believe and her mother remarries uh some rich guy as though she enters the world of socialites I believe and uh she has a stepsister who's like more attractive and there's like a whole bunch of stuff with that uh if I remember properly this I did not realize this was shiny until I started to film uh love that for me okay into the tote my back is killing me but we're gonna do this uh one that I've already read before this was also from that library sale Beowulf uh this is one of my favorite classics we don't need to talk about why uh, I did a VO audio, which is fun, but, um, it has the, like, I, 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 is it original? I don't know. A new translation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I assume it the original is in Old English on this side, and then uh, the nowadays English is on this side. Um, right? Uh, very similar to like some uh, versions of Shakespeare you can get where it's like the original and then uh, translation on one side, uh, which I like. Like very similar layout and everything, and I do want to like look at it because uh, like just doing the audiobook was fun and all but uh I would like to actually like see how it looks because it is technically poetry uh so yeah that's like one of my favorite <laughs> classics ever uh is it one that bestie hates yes there's two of those that like I love it and she hates it uh another one for that same book sale um water for elephants don't remember what this one is about I just remember being like hey I remember some kid trying the circus baby I don't know I remember looking up on goodreads it had like over a million ratings and it's like over four on rating and Bessie was like wait a second you've never read that like I had to read that in school I was like nope um so she told me to get it that's all I know um so I did will I ever read it who knows um I'm trying to just pick out the ones from there uh a woman is no man yes that's what it's called uh this is apparently a limited edition I saw like at least three different copies at this uh, library sale of this book and two of them were the same edition so interesting um yes okay so I remember uh 1990s Palestine 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 uh she's like late teens 17 I believe and uh she would rather be reading and just living her life than trying to be married off by her father uh and whatnot so you know good times um it doesn't even look like it's ever been read like the spine isn't broken at all or anything um the corners are a little bent and so is the front cover but like otherwise it's perfectly good quality uh this one i know i also got from that book sale uh which is gone girl i have read a jillian flynn wow it is windy outside uh make my fan go off um I believe that Gillian Flynn I read was a short story but I was really intrigued. I've never even read them or read the movie seriously watched the movie. Uh, Stingray told me I'm crazy. Uh, they one love this book and said that the movie is one of the best adaptations they've ever seen and that I should totally read it. Uh, this is a weird shaped mass market. It's definitely like skinnier than normal ones right? Like can you, can you see how that's like yeah that's weird. Um I'm taller but uh I think it was like the grown up is the one that I read by her. Uh, but yeah, never read it. And I'm always looking for good mystery thrillers. So might as well. It's like a classic mystery thriller. Um, the Daniel Steele was one of the ones, I believe this one was the romance one for uh, the David, Blind David book. Where's the summary? literally it's one paragraph and it doesn't say anything what it is it's one of those blind dates with the books uh yeah i mean i've always been intrigued because like you see daniel Steele everywhere so like might as well read it since i just got it for pretty cheap because those bags were like one dollar each uh one that i know was from the romance in those same bags was uh gentle warrior <sighs> historical romance uh let's see if i remember this um he killed her family 
uh, she shows up and is like, hey, dude, why? Um, and angry, and he's all like, wait a second, you're hot, and I want to protect you. And that's the plot. Also, it said steamy, so, like, maybe there's a smut scene. I don't know. When did this even come out? Like, the, the, the it's falling apart. Like, um, it's fine. Uh, when did this come out? Tell me copyright, please. 1985. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. The only historical fiction that I've read that was before the 2000s, I DNF'd because it was very not good. Um, this one, the Tibetan book of living and dying, was part of the Karma, uh, books. There were two of them, I believe, um, in that bag. So, yeah, uh, Manual for Life, Death, and a Magnificent Sword of sac Sacred Inspiration from the Heart of the Tibetan Tradition. I don't know what it's about. I'll try it before I put it in the unhaul pile, probably. Uh, no matter what, I probably won't keep it. Uh, this one, I'm just surprised it was there, uh, was the uh, book sale at the library. I of the world. Uh, always been intrigued by it, right? Uh, I've always been intrigued by the Wheel of Time series. It's like one of those series that I'm like, someday I'm going to read it. Um, so they had the first one, and it was in Mass Market, which, like, if you don't know, I have been collecting all the Brenda Sanders since in Mass Market, so, like... Technically, I'm like 98% sure uh, he wrote the later books in the series, so like I will put it on that shelf, I guess. Because uh, I gotta find room for all of these. This one was, I think, also in the romance bag in the blind book. Uh, this one is the one where she has a daughter um, and she married this guy, and uh, but like the marriage, not a good time um so yeah uh there's like a whole custody battle custody battle with the kid and all this stuff and then she starts a romance with uh her husband or ex-husband's arch nemesis um yeah and so I, it, it, yeah yeah so i think i think like she he uh helps her uh get over her ex or get revenge on her ex by helping her uh and he is like a superstar or something i don't know i don't know does it look like i don't know but i'm intrigued and it's very thick i don't know why what this one was also in the romance one i think there were four in the romance uh 22 indigo place this one's short so i will try it um yeah so uh basically she has this house um she's like from a rich family uh but like everyone's dead and uh the house is go it is being sold off by the bank or something um and so this bad boy from school who she always had a thing for that was like always the guy you flirted with but like who you could end up with he's the bad boy with the uh, bicycle jacket or motorcycle jacket and whatnot um is now super rich and buys it just so that he can piss her off and then romance <laughs> um this one was from the mystery bag of the blind date with book uh yeah uh Oh, this is the one where she's hiding out on a rural farm with her daughter uh, and whatnot. And she's helped the CIA in the past, but when she's uh, attacked by someone or something from her past, uh, they, or something to do with that, um, the CIA are like, nah, fuck you. And um, she has to fend for herself. Um, what's really important is like, look at this text size. It, like, it looks like a big book until you realize the text size is freaking gigantic so um yeah that's that's fine um good times uh this is the one that i got from the library out front that was free uh that is no there no thing wow can i read no nothing more to tell um which i think is one of the newer harry mccannis uh i want to say it was 2021 
I don't know. I haven't read any of her books yet, but I am intrigued by them all. Uh, so, 2022. So, like, very new. Maybe they, like, bought multiple books accidentally or something. Um, I don't know why I was up front, uh, but it was. I am going to look into taking off this stupid plastic coating, but it looks very difficult to do. So, we'll see. Wait a second. I found the tape. Can I get it off while I talk about the rest of these books? Maybe. Maybe. There's so many more. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> oh my goodness this is like stuck on here i know they get good tape at the library how, how do normal people get library tape so like you have good tape right like hot tape i was thinking about this the other day now the tape ripped no all right um what's this one this is the one that was used that i got half off at the bookstore uh which is the other bowling girl um and this one uh, is uh, Henry the Eighth, right? Uh, retelling of that, and I believe it is Mary and Anne uh, about their the two sisters who married him uh, and whatnot. Uh, I've always been intrigued by that story. Uh, generally, the story of him and his wives. Anyways, there's a little bit coming off with the back of the dust jacket or not dust jacket actual hardcover of the book but that's fine because the dust jacket will be there um but yeah i've always been intrigued by it and this is like one of the books about it uh retellings of it that i had on my tbr i think it's still on my tbr uh and i feel like every time i go to this store i see this book and every time i'm like oh maybe next time and this time i decided to go for it it was like eight dollars uh so like why not uh and whatnot this is the general fiction that I got from the blind gate with a book uh uh so it's about uh one uh a black boy I think he's like 19 yes 19 uh black guy from the slums of Rio and his romance with a upper class rich white girl um from what I can understand of glimpsing over the synopsis for 0.5 seconds so you know good times I really am trying to do this fast um the power uh this one I got at the library book sale oh my god I got dust in my hair um this one uh I saw and I instantly grabbed because it's been on my TBR for a while uh I've always wanted to read it basically since it came out I think books and Lala talked about it and that's where I learned about it um and then of course it became a show recently and I did watch the first episode and I was really intrigued and really liked it and I was like I feel like I would get more out of this because I didn't really understand what was happening and I was like I feel like I'll get more um and I'll understand more if I read the book first so I paused my watch of the show and I haven't continued because I still haven't read it because I'm me um can you tell I'm trying to get this tape off still you know what this tape didn't break good times yes i got distracted by removing some of this cover uh this wasn't even used once by the library what the hell uh anyways back to the power uh from what i understand it is about from watching that one episode of the show is about a uh bunch of women randomly one day uh throughout the world girls and women uh suddenly get this magical power uh that makes it so they can protect themselves uh from the world and uh the circumstances that happen because of this uh and whatnot um especially in the government and whatnot i think i don't know does it look like i know what i'm talking about no i'm trying to get tape off uh, i hate this out of it coming off the back ripping up a little bit i hate it i hate it it's fine okay that piece is like ripping horribly that's gonna be fun uh the last one on that side is one i'll do later um one I got from the book sale uh, in the library was the letters of J.R. Tolkien. I mean, like, why not? Like, I had the opportunity to get it, might as well, type thing. Um, I was intrigued. Uh, I believe it also is uh, in assistance with his son, uh, right, Christopher? So, yeah. Uh, with the whole index. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be an interesting read, like, because, like, why not, right? so close to getting this tape off but there's this one bit apparently i was trying to peel the tape where the glue was left over not where the tape is that was my issue but 
Dang. Ah! Got it off. Now I gotta separate it from the paper. Uh, momentary break while I do this. Alright, uh, I guess I'll move on. Uh, also from that book sale, Paper Towns by John Green. Um, I have only read technically, I guess, two John Greens. I read Baltimore and Stars in high school. And then, well, was it the Anthropocene scene or whatever it was, the nonfiction anthology that I read last year that I enjoyed? Um, yeah, so I saw it there and I was like, well, I've never read it and like, I'm intrigued. You can totally hear the plastic of this and I am sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, randomly when I was just standing by Bessie while I was waiting like two minutes for her to finish up or something um and uh, I saw it there and I was like might as well uh that and one other I don't know where that one is <sighs> it is off oh my god but I did it. I can put it back together now. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, moving on. The other one that was from the Blind Day with the Book, uh, Karma is at the foot of the mountain. Uh, discovering images for emotional healing hilariously what would what if i send it to sing grave um a, b, b, b. so it's about healing creativity and importance of place in the people in our lives uh and discovering comfort in yourself i guess i don't know um i'll try it might as well Technically got it for 50 cents. Uh, at the library book sale, there was Razor Blade Tears. I was really surprised. Uh, I guess someone got it from Target because there was a Target sticker. I wonder if I can get that off. Oh, that came off so easy. Oh, hell yeah. That was satisfying. There's a little bit of residue, but that I have a trip to get off, so it's fine. Uh, I didn't even have to do that anything because it just rubbed off uh, with the matte texture of the cover. Um, Yes, I heard great things about this author in general, but also this book. And uh, I saw it there and I keep on contemplating reading it. I think I have the audiobook saved on my computer and whatnot. Um, so I decided, hey, why not? I've heard great things. Uh, something tells me I will read it and cry and have a good time. So I grabbed it. Uh, really surprised it was there. It looks like brand new too. Like, doesn't look like anyone's read it. Um, I got uh, The Bluest Eye. There were like three copies of this book there as well. Um, same library book sale. Uh, it, I mean, I've read Beloved earlier this year. And was that this year? No, that was last year. That was part of the red reading vlog, right? So that was last year. Um, that was December. Um, and I really liked it. And uh, I was like, I should read more Toni Morrison. Um, I think the one that I planned to read next anyways was The Bluest Eye. So like I saw it there, I might as well buy it. So I can like read it at home, um, maybe annotate it. Uh, oh, it's her first novel. I saw that on the back. Uh, okay, from what I can tell from the back, it is about a uh, small black girl. I think she's like eleven. Yep. Uh, who lives in Ohio, rural Ohio, um, in the forties? Uh, when you know, uh, small, uh, blue-eyed, blonde-haired uh, kids more popular uh and whatnot and so she prays to have blue eyes so that she could uh be loved and accepted and whatnot uh what was it so that she will be beautiful so that people will look at her so that her world will be different uh about the nightmare at the heart of the yearning and the tragedy of its fulfillment uh so yeah a book i wanted to read anyways soonish uh so might as well uh the one that i got right when i also picked up paper towns was legend uh this is one that i've wanted to read for a while i did not realize how shiny this was until i went to read the synopsis at the back and i can't see anything um 
I don't remember what what this is about. Like I've read the synopsis a bajillion times. Uh, okay, so apparently that one of the main characters is like a wanted uh, criminal, one of the country's most wanted criminals. Uh, the other one, her brother, just was murdered, and so uh, this wanted criminal is the one wanted for the crimes and all this stuff. Uh, so far, from what I can tell from the back, uh, it's supposed to be very. Uh, dystopian s like the hunger games uh the way that the world's run type thing so interesting um and then we go to the other two classics i had the last two this is the one that i bought full price which is east of eden um hear me out i confused in my brain grapes of wrath and east of eden i thought i was picking up grapes of wrath uh i want to read both of them so it's like not that big of a deal this one is the retelling of cain and abel uh type um uh, it's about two families in California uh, whose generations reenact the fall of Adam and Eve uh, and the poisonous rivalry of Cain and Abel. Uh, enduring themes such as the mystery of identity, the inexplicability of love, and the murderous consequences of love's absence. Sure, why not? Like, might as well. Uh, it's one I want to read. I'm pretty sure Bestie also has read this because she said, uh, why would you want to read that? Um, but, uh, or no, Gripes of Wrath is the one. Because I mentioned what Gripes of Wrath is the one that I wanted to read. And she went, why would you want to read that? Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm not mad that I accidentally, I mean, they didn't have Gripes of Wrath anyways. But, like, I'm not mad that I accidentally got this thinking it was that. Because, like, I want to read both of them anyways. And so, might as well. Um, and then... The last classic also from the book sale um in the library listen we don't need to talk about it at all except we kind of do uh if you do not remember in what was last month july yeah uh i read all of war and peace uh in less than a month and i really enjoyed it uh in every book sale whatever uh we went to i did try to find it didn't even have it at the used bookstore. Literally, I was like, I'm real sad they didn't have War and Peace. And Kayla said, you could probably find it down by the door. And I was like, I checked there. And she's like, no, like, it would only be used as a doorstop. Um, Stingray really appreciate that joke. Uh, but, I mean, I, I loved it. Um, and I, after reading it, wanted to read Anna Karenina. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, even more than I already did, uh, especially since the movie adaptation is the same director as my favorite Pride and Prejudice movie, uh, one of my top movies ever. I've read it, uh, read it, I watched it like three times this year already, um, and has, forget her name, uh, but Karen Knightley, there we go, um, as the main character, uh, in it, uh, so, like, I've always wanted to read the book so I could watch the movie, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I found it. <laughs> so I bought it. It's victims. And the text is pretty small. Um, yeah. Uh, I believe it is about, uh, uh Anna, Anna. Uh, who is married and then starts an affair with, uh, Someone named Count Vronsky. Uh, and how uh, they are overwhelmed by society's views on them because of this, uh, basically. Um, there are people, uh, is it Throne of Pages, I believe, uh, who I watched, who has read both of them and preferred this one. So, I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I've always wanted to read it. It is Thickums. It is over 600, maybe close to 700. Oh, it's 700. It's over 700 pages. Oh boy. I'm gonna have a good time with this one. It's gonna take me like a whole month again, but you know what? Excited. Uh, so yeah. Do I know where I wanna put this? Absolutely not. I have not enough space for all 25 of these books. There is a good chance they will just be sitting here for a good chunk of time. But you know, it's okay because the two piles are almost the exact same height so I can set it right over on top and then put this one on top of that because that was the only one that was messing up the height difference between the two piles I made. Um, 
yeah I guess these are all just gonna stay here for now I got my unhauls and my hauls <laughs> uh not the cough drop um but yeah that's this I hope you enjoyed this instead of a adorable read with me it's pretty long yay uh so good times um I just realized that Anna Karina and, uh, is a Barnes and Noble edition intriguing uh but yeah good times uh I will go I don't know what videos are coming up after this I don't know uh I assume Wednesdays are read with me other than this Wednesday because that's when this will go up on a Wednesday otherwise don't know what anything is ever anymore I will thank you good night <laughs> um but yes yeah, so I guess I have one less read with me to film this month um and yeah I'm gonna go uh stay tuned for other videos I do weird things <laughs> read a lot of books um and then apparently buy a lot that I gotta figure out I'm normally not like this I rarely buy books it's only whenever I visit Bestie because she always takes me to sales and whatnot and this is what happens <laughs>